Wow. Anytime that you do something that you put above God, mm. you made it your God. Mm. Anytime they can tell you that it's politically correct to allow your children to run around your house and break things and go through changes and cuss at you and cuss at adults and do all this and do all that, anytime they can convince you all of that, you have made the people, the the, 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 the all of the academicians and all this stuff, you have made them God. Because you allow them to tell you that they know better than the one who flung the sun in the sky. Wow. You have allowed this one and that one to make you feel that this will benefit me more. If I work this couple of extra hours on the Shabbat, that will benefit me more than saying no. Because I want to get that extra hundred and two hundred or a thousand dollar bonus for working just these two hours. But you forgot. You're going to need him when you're, some, when you're in the hospital. What them two hours going to do? What that thousand dollars going to do for you now? Why you're calling out to him because your tooth hurt. You open up your whole bank account to get rid of that toothache. <laughs> Don't kid ourselves. Yeah. Don't pretend that we don't fall into these categories. Yeah. What we have to do is first admit our problem yeah. so that what we can do is better ourselves. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So don't fall into the trap and look at it and say, oh, yay, yeah, but it is, you know, I, I, it, yay, yeah, it is not me. Therefore shall you lay up these my words in your heart and in your soul, and ye shall bind them for a sign upon your hand, and they shall be for frontless between your eyes, yes. and ye shall teach them to your children, talking of them when thou sittest in thine house, when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up, thou shalt write them upon the doorposts of, of upon the doorposts of thy house and upon thy gates that your days may be multiplied and the days of your children upon the land which the Lord sworn to your fathers to give them as the days of the heavens above the earth. Amen. If, then, the door of the door, Amen. generation to generation, we need to stop the downslide now. Amen. Take hold of your families now. Come on. Get back to your brothers and your sisters now. Come on. Learn that these old people that are around here are not just somebody else's mother, they're your mother too. Yes. Come on. They're your fathers too. Gee. You have to remember that when you see the elder come in, it's a great honor to be in the presence of the elders Amen. as they come in. So that what you can do is receive of them all that God has given unto them. We have to remember who we are. Stop trying to be anybody else. You are the seed of Abraham, Amen. Isaac, and Jacob. Amen. I need for you to know it. They named streets after you. Mm. Right? Big time streets. Every street, every, every city I know got Martin Luther King Drive. Yeah. Mac and Next Boulevard. Yeah. This, that, and the other thing. I want you to know how important it is for me to tell you that you're the children of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Mm. The one who decided in all his wisdom to make light and darkness. Mm. The one who decided to make the sun and the moon and the star. Mm. The one who numbered the grains of sand on the seashore and decided how many gallons of water there should be in all of the oceans of the sea. Come on. The one who gives the birds.